What is going on YouTube? It is Nick from MetalogicDesign.com here. And today I will be teaching you how to use SEMrush to do competitor analysis into your competitors' Google Ads campaigns to see exactly what keywords they're targeting, how much they're paying per keyword, and how they're running their ad copy. So that way when you are ready to run your own Google Ads, you know just how to take the most precious spots on the Google search and his results page and make them yours. So without any further ado, let's get this thing started. So here we are in the domain overview tab of SEMrush. I've already picked out who we're going to use for our competitor comparison here. Goldberg and Rosen are personal injury attorneys here in Miami. I see them run Google ads on the SERP all the time, so I figured this would be a very good example for us to use. Let's go ahead and paste their URL here in domain overview. Change the country to United States and click search. Here we are in domain overview. It is essentially just a summary of all the paid and non-paid data here that SEMrush has pulled from around the web as well as some other factors. So we have authority score, organic search traffic, paid search traffic, backlinks, organic traffic, organic keywords, etc. But we're focused on this video today are the paid search traffic and what happens as a result of that. So we have advertising research. So we have top five paid keywords. These are the top five paid keywords that they're spending money on and generates them the most traffic as well as their position, the volume, the cost per click, and the percentage of traffic each of these costs. So 60% of their paid traffic comes from this one keyword. Next, we have the paid position distribution. It's essentially just how many keywords get them into the number one position, the number two to three position, and then the other position. So we can see here that five keywords of theirs give them a number one position, 13 give them a two to three position in the SERP, and the rest are our eight, our eight keywords give them other positions. So we have main paid competitors. These are the competitors in the area, the competitors that are bidding on the same keywords as us. So we can see we have the number of common keywords and the amount of keywords that our competitors are targeting. Here in the competitive positioning map is just a visual representation of the main paid competitors. So on the y-axis here, we have paid search traffic. And on the x-axis, we have paid keywords. Here we are, Goldberg and Rosen, 26 keywords, and we typically generate about 330, excuse me, 330 views or clicks to our website from our Google Ads. And we have a top dog here as JustPoint.com. They are targeting 126 keywords, and they generate about 3,500 clicks to their site from the Google Ads. So here we are in sample text ads. This is a really good tool to use to see the combinations of headlines and descriptions that follow with each of the Google ads that pop up, right? So let's say I type in medical malpractice lawyers, Miami. This is the ad I'll see on the SERP and the combination of the headlines and descriptions. But enough of just the summary data, I wanna do a deep dive into what all of these mean and how to use these all to your advantage when you are doing keyword research or competitive research on Google ads. Let's go ahead and click top paid keywords, view details. So SEMrush has brought us here to advertising research for Goldberg and Rosen. As you can see here, SEMrush has brought us into advertising research for goldbergandrosen.com. This month we're targeting 26 keywords, which is an increase from last month. And this month we've also had 330 people click on our ads and go to our website or our landing pages. And that's cost us about $4,400. Estimated traffic, just the amount of traffic month over month. So again, you've just seen this in the top left here under traffic. This month we've had 328 uh, viewers click our click our landing page and our ads. And last month that we only had 143. Let's go to keywords. You can see month over month just how many keywords we're targeting and our positioning for these keywords. So in September we had 10 keywords give us a top three position. This month in October, 18 of our keywords give us a top three position. And you can see the totals change from 19 to 26. And then we have traffic costs. Traffic costs are what they sound like. It's just the amount of, or the estimated amount of costs that is associated with each of our Google Ads campaigns. So this month we've essentially are guessing, or so much is estimating that Goldberg and Rosen have spent $4,400 on their Google Ads efforts. Scrolling down, we have paid search positions. And this shows us every single keyword that Goldberg and Rosen are targeting their positions, um, the difference. So if they changed in positioning here, let's say this went from 
three to four or three to two, which shows the difference here. We have the volume month over month. We also have the average cost per click. And what I find really important here is the URLs. So if we want to go here, we can see exactly what page our Google ads go to. So let's go ahead and click here. Landing.goldbergerrosen.com brings us to this medical malpractice lawyers Miami landing page. We can kind of scroll along here if I were a competitor and see what content they have, how they're trying to grasp, grasp our potential customers and use that to my advantage and build upon it to make sure my ads stand out rather than theirs. So continuing along here, we have their traffic, just the amount of traffic for this month that this one keyword has generated. So medical malpractice lawyers has given us almost 200 clicks on our ads and that's about 60% of our traffic is coming through this one keyword and it's roughly cost them about $2,500, which is about 60% of their ad spend from this month. Going along here, if you click the arrow on medical malpractice lawyers, you can get more in-depth uh, information here. So this is a new keyword for them, so they don't have month of a month information, but if they did, you would see September, August, and maybe if this is later in the month, you could see um, November, December, right? You can kind of see these positions changed over time and get a, and a feel for how volatile this position is. Again, you can see the keyword, the URL, and then top five competitors in the area, or not in the area, for those keywords in general. So we have Bighorn Law. I know they're a big law firm based in Nevada here. We can go ahead and click their website. You can see Nevada personally, personal injury attorney. That has nothing to do with medical malpractice lawyers in Miami. So again, this is just the keywords who are bidding for these keywords nationally who are top rank. If you wanted to go more local, so we would look for a local keyword like malpractice lawyers in Miami here. You can see again, position month over month, we have not changed from September to this month. We see the top two competitors, right? And if we wanted to do a deep dive into our competitors, we would just go from here, open a link in a new tab, and look at that. We can go into the same in-depth data as we're going into for Goldberg and Rosen. Again, we can see their positions. It's also targeting Rubenstein Law. It's a pretty pricey, uh, pretty pricey ad strategy here as they're targeting their competitors and trying to get their traffic. Good on them. But uh, yeah, again, you can go through all of this and see what keywords are targeting and how they're doing. Let's go back to Goldberg and Rosen here so I can keep continue along and showing you all the position changes and all the great information you need to know when looking to do your Google Ads research. So we have position changes. Let's go to September so we have a full month of data. So you can see here all the keywords and their positions. So you can see that they've added all of these just recently. You can see the difference again. This is just, they've all added new keywords this month. So there's not too much information on these. Again, you have the volume, competitive density, the cost per click, and the landing pages associated with these ads. The traffic changes, the costs, and et cetera. This is really good to see month over month how many keywords each competitor has been targeting or as we go along here, how many they're not targeting anymore. So as you can see here, Goldberg and Rosen, they've kind of given up here on targeting for Uber, Uber accidents. This is again, it's Miami. So you might see a few keywords here in Spanish, but as you can see here, they, they've dropped four keywords revolving around Uber accidents and they've added a ton over malpractice accidents. And maybe they haven't dropped it completely. You can see Uber here and there. But again, it's just good to know what your competitors are up to. Speaking of competitors, let's go ahead and click competitors here in the top. Again, the competitive positioning map that we've just seen recently. We can kind of scroll down here and we can see again, the common keywords we have with these, all of our competitors, the paid keywords they have in total how much the paid traffic they're getting from Google ads and how much they're spending. So we can go along here, click along and see their, their content information, who they're targeting. is isn't really too great of a tool here, but my favorite tool is actually coming up in ad copies. Again, as I, as I saw before, as I stated before, this is a fantastic tool to see just what headlines and what descriptions show up with each keyword. When you go into ad copies here and you kind of click below keywords, you can see that these are the keywords associated with this ad and these um, ad pairings. So these descriptions are paired up together. These uh, headlines are paired up together for uh, these keywords that are typed in. 
you can go along here and just kind of see exactly what's showing up for what and build upon it to try and get, make sure that your keywords or your Google ads are more eye-catching than theirs. As we continue along, we have ads history. Ads history is just, it's not too important, but if you do want to understand what your competitor has been up to month over month, you can go along here and see about the calendar year, just their positioning and their changes. So we can see that just before their dip in March that they were targeting Florida boat accident lawyers, boating accident lawyers, maritime injury lawyers, etc. They're doing pretty well for themselves in the top few positions. And when they dipped down, they came back and started targeting medical malpractice. So we can see they're now in the sixth spot. You can see all of these are mostly revolving around malpractice lawyers. They're pretty high up in the SERP here. This is going to feel for the history of the your competitor's company. And essentially, that is how you do competitive research for your competitors in SEMrush. If you have any questions, I'll be answering all of them in the comments below. My name is Nick Zerwinski. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.